Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives. Uh, still working on engineering science and two. So in this case, we shall be focusing uh, particularly on the question paper which was written in February 2022 for engineering science and two that is on uh, statics. So we want to see how actually they we ask the question and uh, how you're supposed to answer these questions. Okay, so if you're new, you can consider subscribing so that you won't miss any of the classes that you shall be having from Maison African Motives. So the first question that you're given on question two is on statics, the one that you're focusing on. We are given on 2.1. Guys, take note, find the resultant of four kilometers and five kilometers separated by an angle of 60 degrees, while the displacement of five kilometers x horizontally to the right. Use the parallelogram method to find the resultant displacement. Okay, so displacement. Uh, here we are asked to uh, apply the parallelogram method. Okay, so what you need actually is the diagram to represent this. So we are given a horizontal force in this case. Okay, so we can just have something like this. Uh, so I want you to see what you're given. There is a force of five kilonewton, uh, uh, which is a displacement which is horizontally like this and these they are separated let's just say something like this an angle of there's an angle of 60 degrees uh, that you're given okay let me show you again we've got an angle of 60 degrees in between here so this is 60 degrees okay then we are given that the five kilometers x horizontally to the right okay so which means to the right or from this angle here there's a force of five, uh, there's a distance, a dis displacement actually of five kilometers, which is on the right side. All right. So which means definitely the four kilometers is going to be the one that is upon the angle of what of 60 degrees. You're going to have the four kilometers. So this is where we are going to have our four kilometers. All right. So the question is, we are supposed to use the parallelogram method to find the resultant displacement. All right. So how are we going to find the result in displacement? Okay, this is how you're going to do it. You are going to adjust this side of five kilometers. Take note, this is just five kilometers from this. It's just one of the same thing. So you are going to have the same five kilometers on this side like this, which is a parallel side. You just indicate a parallel side. Then you are going to have also a parallel of four like this. So they are going to meet at a certain point. So this is actually five kilometers and this is four kilometers, okay? If you extend this line of uh, five kilometers where we are having five kilometers here, if we extend this line like this, I want you to see something. Let's say we extended this line like this. What is going to happen is that from your mathematics, remember these two lines, they are parallel. So this angle here and this angle, they're actually equal. It's going to be 60 degrees from our corresponding angles from mathematics. Or you can actually take this angle here and this angle, they add up to 180 degrees from core interior angles. So if they add up to 180, you're going to have 180 degrees minus 60 degrees which is 120 degrees. So this angle is going to give you 120 degrees. Okay, why are we worried about this angle? Because we need the resultant and the resultant is this line. Let me show you the resultant. This is the resultant. From this end point up to this end point, this major diagonal is your resultant. So the resultant is the major diagonal. So this is your major diagonal, this one that is the resultant using the parallelogram rule okay so that is your resultant so how are you going to calculate this resultant okay so if you take back from your mathematics you are going to see that this is a, a triangle and it's a non right angle triangle actually a non right angled non right angled meaning to say there is no 90 degrees in this case and uh, we are given two sides like this. We are given this condition. I want you to take you back from your mathematics, okay? If you are given two sides like this uh, and you are given a certain angle that is in between the sides and you want to calculate the third side, 
you can actually apply what is referred as the cosine rule okay which states that a squared is equal to b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a so what does this mean the a is the side that you want to calculate this is your a the b and the c are the two sides which are creating the angle a so this is the angle which is at a so b and c these are the sides that you are given here you are given b and c this side and this side and this is the angle a okay and you want to calculate this error this one which is the resultant array okay so the formula is going to be from a squared is going to be r squared is equal to these two sides so let's just write them in terms of uh, b squared so that we don't confuse ourselves okay so it's going to be b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cos a like this so we know that if you want to calculate r definitely you're going to put the square root or you can just remain like this r squared you just write as it is okay which is this is r squared the one that you want to calculate here which is the resultant all right so this is the b and c which is these two shorter sides okay so it's going to be four and five but it's four squared and five so take note there's a square here so it's going to be four squared plus five squared all right minus take note this is b c the same b and c but they are multiplied by two this time so it's two times four times five like this you just substitute into your formula cos a this is an angle whenever there's cos which means you're going to put the angle and the angle is this one that is in between this is the angle that you're going to take from your mathematics i think we agree uh what i'm writing here all right now let's simplify together you are going to obtain r squared which is 4 squared from your calculator this is 16 plus 5 squared which is 25 minus you multiply these two you are going to obtain 40 if i'm not mistaken here is going to be 40 okay cos minus 20 this is going to give you minus 0 0.5 from your calculator so actually you can combine these guys without wasting time you can just combine this everything from your calculator you must obtain 61 all right so if r squared is equal to 61 then what is the value of r because we need the resultant which is r not r squared so take note this is a squared you're going to introduce the square root the square root so that means r is the square root of 61 and the square root of 61 uh, is going to give us 7,81 if you round off properly and this is the resultant in kilometers take note we are working with uh, units in kilometers this is displacement in kilometers so which means definitely the resultant is going to be in kilometers sometimes they can ask you to calculate the resultant as well as the angle so if it is the angle which is the direction this is the direction the angle which is your theta this is the angle that you're going to calculate but in this case the question just asked us to calculate what the resultant so this is what they need but in case that they need you to calculate the direction the direction means the angle so you're going to calculate this angle using your sine rule or you can use also cosine rule depending with which one is best from your mathematical skills that you have um, but you can actually calculate that angle okay then let's see the other part that we are given on uh, 2.2 we are given that an an applied force of 50 newton is inclined at 25 degrees to the horizontal calculate the horizontal and vertical components of the force okay so we know that when there is an angle like that uh, for you to have the vertical and uh, i mean to have the horizontal and the vertical components uh, we are going to have the force we are given the force in this case of 50 newtons and we are given an angle of uh, 25 degrees actually so it's supposed to be something like this okay we've got 25 degrees and uh, so we know that the horizontal component which is hx is given by f cos theta it's actually because here we are, we are given the force okay so it's actually w cos theta like this 
okay so we know that this w is mg which is actually the weight so you're going to use the force which is this one as the weight so it's going to be 50 cos theta which is the angle of 25 degrees okay so that is the horizontal component so if you use properly your calculator you're going to obtain 45 comma 315 and this is in newtons so it's going to be in newtons like this okay and the vertical component is still the same but it's going to carry a sign so it's going to be 50 sign 25 degrees okay so it's just one and the same thing but the vertical carries a sign that is what you're going to hear so this one you're not going to waste much time in exam guys these are just uh free marks these ones that you're supposed to take all right so these are the formulas that you need for the horizontal component and for the vertical component. Uh, so this one is going to be W sine theta. That is uh, the vertical component. Horizontal component is W cos theta. Okay. On 2.3, we are then asked to give two examples of couples. You are asked to give examples of couples. Okay, so I have listed uh, a quiet number of couples examples that you can use for couples which uh, include the water spray the door handles the wing nut spanner the thread cutters okay so you can use these uh, answers uh, any of these uh, four answers that you're given there you can choose one of your best because it's just one example of a couple so you can choose from these four so that's how they ask these questions guys if you are to see these are typical questions that they ask here and again so you are supposed to be used to these questions by revisions you're supposed to revise as much question papers as possible so that actually you'll be able to be ready to be prepared before you get into the exam room okay so that's it guys for Mason african motives working on revisions and question papers for engineering science and two till we meet again